today, uh, I just got this new mouse. It's, um, it's a Rokat Cone Pure Ultra. I don't know if the camera's gonna... There we go. Rokat Cone Pure Ultra. Yeah, and, um, I'm gonna show you how to drag click. This doesn't just work on the Rokat Cone Pure Ultra. This works on a bunch of other mouses, like... Um, other Rokat mouses, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, whatever, I think it's Rokat, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, here's how you drag it. Alright, so, to begin this, you're gonna need to get quite a frictionful surface. So like you're gonna need some friction to actually get this. So first, um if you're like eating something or something, you may want to consider like cleaning your mouse. Like cleaning this little thing of your mouse. And how I would recommend doing it is um you get something like a little bit of a damp towel like this and then like and then you go ahead and basically try to clean your mouse using the damp end with a little bit of soap. Be very cautious while doing this, because it can potentially damage the mouse if you're not careful enough. And if that's still not working for you, um, try adding some more friction with something like hand sanitizer. This is going to make your hands pretty dry. Let's go ahead and squirt a little on right here. Get a little bit of it, and like just rub it into your fingers. Generally, basically, just get your fingers nice and covered in this, and then just wait for it to dry. You can't <coughs> if you don't have any hand sanitizer near you, which you should have left over from 2020 or so, or if you just want to try something else because you don't like, like you have dry skin, and then it's gonna give you a few cuts. Then there's other alternatives like razor grip tape and like a lot um like yeah and like a lot of other stuff like like something else that makes you you can even clean your own hands like you can even clean your own hands and that should definitely help quite a bit with with getting your friction up. Alright, so, next thing you're going to need to do, once you have your hands frictioned, is just go along with the mouse and do this. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something actually. Um, I don't actually have a window for this, but if you go into the Rokat Swarm, if you go into Rokat Swarm, or just any general software that your mouse has, and then turn on zero debounce, and it and there's usually a slider on other mouses. Then it should help with CPS. But also, if your if your mouse doesn't have actual an actual software, then it's actually just fine. You can just do it normally. It's just more recommended to do this method. And next thing you gotta do is um, of course practice the drag clicking. It's basically, it's actually quite simple to do the drag click. Basically, you gotta be decently light on it. This is especially, it's especially t easy to do with this mouse considering that it's, as you can see, I'm barely clicking the mouse and it's still going up. Yeah, as you can see, it's just bare, barely going up. Like, so yeah, it's really easy to do with this mouse. But with other mouses, you may have to click a little harder. And if we're gonna be honest, friction's mainly the key for this. But also, some mouses, like an old mouse that I actually have, is um, I don't think it's actually in this room. But the Red Dragon M602, oh, it is right here. It's right here. 
this mouse I can barely get much with it. And even if I do manage to get a lot with it, then it's actually just good. Then it doesn't actually do many CPS compared to this mouse. So yeah, if you do have if you do have like a mouse that can't drag click, then you're just gonna have to get a new mouse or something. But like yeah, it's mainly you're just gonna have to get a new mouse. No big deal. Alright, all right. The cheapest one if you're on a low budget is Red Dragon and seven eleven. Yeah, so but also if but also you can go for a more expensive mouse like the mouse I have. Uh the Rocket Cone Pure Ultra. And yeah. And if you're wondering why is right clicking even important, well, um you can break blocks really fast. And this only works in actual PvP, but my my PC's lagging. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually kill players a lot faster than you normally would be able to. And it works great for stuff like sumo duels. And that you can also do stuff like God with it. You can also do like block extensions. It's basically really good for Minecraft PvP. It does work in a few other games, and, and that is actually what I do not know. But like, it can work in some other games. I'm not exactly sure which games again, but like, it can work in some. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, and one last thing I would recommend. Is like what I do with my arm is I lean up into it. This is just if you use this method of drag clicking. Some people drag click like this, and that's just actually a perfectly good method. Except for the part where it partially rotates your mouse. And if you want to keep a straight angle, then. It's a lot better, and also you can be more accurate with it. Yeah, that's just what I recommend, though. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to drag click. I hope it helped you, and uh, yeah, see you next time.